guys, I'm in the shop today and I just wanted to give you a rundown of my bar setup. So I figured while I have everything apart, I'd show you guys what bars I run, grips, and just my general bar setup. So here's a nice close up of my triple clamps and my bar mount set up here. I got these uh, Mako 360 mounts. I push it up to the second hole in the triple clamp and then I turn these backwards and that's just the way I like them. I'm just gonna give you guys a little rundown kind of left to right. So I have these little KTM billet reservoir clamps and they have these little uh, plastic pieces in there. So if you crash, you don't break your um, master cylinder pieces. So here I got the Mako 360 bar mounts. It comes with these bushings, the shark bite, and then here's the top piece. Right now I have pretty soft bushings. I think these are the softest ones they make. This is the shark bite green bushing. And then these are like, I think they just call them yellow. They're kind of like neon green. I've just been rocking them. I don't really feel like it's too sloppy. I might go to stiffer bushings in the future once these ones are all worn out. But for now, I mean, they're pretty good. Usually in the off season, I go for the black grips. Uh, these are the half waffle lock on grips from ODI. But yeah, I feel like the black, I don't know if the, I think the compound's a little bit harder. You can see on the gray ones, soft pro compound. But I just prefer these for racing and these for just free riding in the off season. Now these are the bars I'm gonna run this season. They're the ODI McGrath Bend one and one eighth bars. And so far I like the look of them. They're pretty similar as far as the bend of my last bars. I like like a pretty low bend. And there's definitely a reason for that. I mean, bars usually come down to preference, but there's a reason why most of the pros run like a pretty low bend like these. Cause I feel like it kind of puts you in more of an attack position, which is a really good position to be in for hard enduro. These bars also don't have a traditional crossbar. It has a system in here that allows the bars to actually flex almost like a, just a regular fat bar that doesn't have a crossbar. Controlled flex technology. Fancy. <laughs> Here's a close up. I run them with the zeros pretty much dead center. What I'm really looking for is for my bars to be in line with my forks. So I don't really want them to be too far forward or too far back. So these grips for the throttle side come with a bunch of these different cams your throttle cable. Mine's the cam B and yeah you just pop it right on there just like that and you're good to go. Super easy you just slide them on there get them where you want them. They usually have a specific spot not good right there and then you just take your allen you're good to go. Don't have to wait for any glue to dry or use, you know, four pieces of safety wire to keep your grip on. All right. Here's the ODI McGrath bars. You can see that that Mako 360 just sits right under there. But yeah, that's pretty damn good on this bike. Fresh grips. You guys can see where I like the waffle to sit too. Here's a couple bonus things too that I have on my bar setup. I put the kill switch on the right and the starter on the left. 
it's just so much easier to start the bike on the left hand side so you have to like pull the throttle and start it while you're trying to use the front brake it's just really awkward whereas like you can be using the front brake and use the throttle and just dedicate your left thumb to the starter here's another bonus thing that i run usually right here it's called a trail bound pad pack and see there I usually carry my phone in here a couple tools and some snacks and it's just really convenient especially because my pants don't have pockets so I can just keep my phone in there and these straps just go around the triple clamps and the bar pad and that that pad just sits right there so the third bonus is my flag guards are actually retrofitted you can see here to the OEM mounts so they actually mount onto the perch instead of using the Acherby's mount, which goes on your bars and takes up more space. Plus, I didn't really have as much space on my old bars, so this worked out pretty well to uh, make those mounts. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my full bar setup. Thanks for watching. I do not miss, ayy. Started from Cali and now I got bitches in Europe, they singing my shit. Remember, it's never the critic who counts. That's just the way that it is. Huh. Tell me, why would I listen to you on this shit when you never could do what I did? Sure. Ahead of the curve. For me to put pen down the paper, you gotta show me that you know what I'm worth. Yeah.